Good morning. Today is September 27th, 2021. I just wanted to quickly review some of the season's bounty. This is the patty pan squash. The variety is Peter Pan and this was sown at the very end of July. We have the butternut squash. I think there's about um, maybe uh, two dozen or so. Some not quite as ripe as others, but they're getting there. Some little tiny guys like this one, but that's okay. There's delicata squash. This came off the vine a little too soon. That was my mistake. Went to put some cardboard underneath and it just snapped right off. Um, these are the winter sweet winter squash. These um, were were picked really really early on. The vine had uh, got hit with vine borers, so didn't last too long. We have some gorgeous zinnias, tithonia, marigolds. These are basil flowers. Turns out I really do like red in the garden. I didn't think I liked red. I guess I don't like some shades of red, but these bright fire engine, cherry, carmine reds. Yeah, I'm into it. Who knew? Um, well, and I guess especially this time of year. In the, in the spring, I do prefer the pastel pinks and blues and cool colors, but now it's, it's all about these gorgeous orange and golds and and we'll let some pinks and purples slide too, but um, you see this is that, that purple Persian basil. And then this is the third and I think final Dickinson pumpkin. Um, these are, I think they're squash technically, but pumpkin variety that goes into the Libby's pumpkin pie canned filling and I think all the generic brands also use this variety, so I'm hoping to get a little more um, traditional pumpkin pie, pie flavor with my pies this year. So I have that one, and then these two, and then this is a Hollis pumpkin. So the seeds don't have that casing on it, and that'll be great to enjoy those, um, as well as the pumpkin and maybe a more savory dish. Here's just a selection of some of our tomatoes. This is the purple tomatillo. We have these little fish peppers. Um, these are from True Love Seeds out of Philadelphia and these peppers came um, into my into my space via them and this really interesting podcast about their history in the Philadelphia and Belt and Baltimore region. I forget what that is. This is an example. Here we have the this is the speckled Roman paste tomato. Not fully ripened yet, but you can see it's starting to put on its color. And then this one is a little more so. It's getting there. But it'll get, oh well this one's better actually. You can see this red. It's about ready. This is a beautiful, oh here, these are two little chocolate peppers. Um, green, less ripe, red, more ripe. Still some ripening to go, but the bunnies got over there into the buckets and ended up just demolishing all of those plants, including the peppers for some reason. Um, so they were picked early, but yeah, this is the dad's sunset. It's a gorgeous, really good slicing tomato. I love that. And then of course, Chadwick cherries, and these are the really great sunrise bumblebee. So yeah, just a quick little 
special shout out to my my mini my little mini farm my little mini property here this is let's see this one this looks gorgeous beef steak so they've definitely been keeping me busy and occupied here these are Tithonia, uh, not Tithonia, these are the tobacco flowers. Um, Nishitiana, Nicotiana, I've heard them pronounced a couple different ways. Not sure on the, the right way, so we'll go with tobacco flowers. They smell incredible at the end of the day, um, as sun sets and in the morning. They are really, really beautiful to have in the garden. Okie dokie. I think that's just about it. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Oh, this is a little acorn squash. Didn't make it, but it's still super cute. So, gonna keep her hanging out. And, oh, this is the last moon and stars watermelon. I can't imagine what this is gonna look like inside because even the larger ones were, I don't know, it seemed like 90% seed, very little flesh. Um, so that'll be interesting. We'll see what that looks like. Okie dokie. And still lots, lots more out there. Lots more to manage and harvest and deal with and process and enjoy. So I'm very thankful. This is, I think, the last zucchini here. It's a pretty one. Should be delicious. All right. Enjoy your day. Happy, healthy gardening.